Hi, today we're going to talk about staging your home before you put it on the market. Let's not confuse staging with decorating your home, because what you're actually doing is you're neutralizing your space so that your house appeals to the masses of buyers out there and it's not so taste specific. What I do on my initial listing appointment is I go around to each room and I snap a photo. That way when I get back into my office, I can look at each room and figure out which furniture I'd like them to remove, which uh, decor items I'd like them to take down, and then I figure out how I'm going to rearrange that room when I go back. Now in this particular room, this family room here, what I would first do is I would remove some furniture. These small end tables, one of these chairs, the floor lamp, and the fan. I'd also remove uh, decor items, the taste specific decor items, such as the, uh, the horses that are on the fireplace. I would only leave the mirror, the vase with the flowers, and the candles. Everything else would go. And on the coffee table, I would leave the tray, the plant, and the lantern. The birds are considered a collection, so those would be packed up and put away. Next, let's talk about fake floor plants get rid of them. They tend to be dusty and very dated looking. Instead, replace those fake plants with actual real live plants. They are much cleaner and fresher looking and I think this one here cost about $25. Now we're in the kitchen. The number one thing to do is clear your countertops. Nobody wants to see your coffee maker or your dirty toaster oven. Instead, Replace these items with things such as cookbooks on stands, beautiful live floral bouquets, and bowls of real fruit. Your kitchen will look like it came right out of a magazine, which is much more appealing. Some rooms that often get overlooked are closets, pantries, and laundry rooms. Let's make sure that those are all neat and tidy. Washer and dryers should have nothing on top of them. A clean laundry room makes a much nicer presentation. And most importantly is your buyer's first impression of your home. That's your entryway. So make sure it's clean, that your front door is freshly stained or painted, you have a nice mat down, and a flowering plant that says welcome. Hi, I'm Linda with Castle Hills Real Estate and I hope that these staging tips have helped you. Have a great day and thanks for watching.